Hi everyone, this is uh, Alan Rosinski, Metro Manhattan Office Space. Well, this Wednesday is April 1st, and if you happen to own a small business and rent commercial space, be it office, showroom, medical, or retail, the rent is due. And we're going to see what's going to happen, but invariably there's going to be a record number of rent defaults in April. It's been... Um, about two and a half weeks since the uh, state of emergency was declared and uh, businesses were forced to shut down because of the uh, corona um, epidemic and these businesses have been unable to generate revenue. So let's say you own a small business and your rent is due and you haven't had any income. What do you do? How do you approach the situation? Now it could be like Adidas and H&M. I've read on the news that those companies um, active in Germany have announced that they will not pay rent, just made the announcement. It's been very controversial, a certain amount of outrage in, in Germany. Should you be like Adidas and HMM? I wouldn't advise it. Actually, what I would advise you to do is to view your landlord as a key partner, to communicate with your landlord, to negotiate with them. They want you to succeed. Your success ensures that you'll be a stable, reliable tenant for them in the long term. So if you're going to have difficulty paying rent, I'd give them a call. And if you're not comfortable calling them, have your attorney or have your broker call your landlord on your behalf. Now, there's really two different approaches you can take in negotiating with them. You can ask for an abatement meaning that they forgive a certain amount of rent. Let's say they give you three months of free rent because of nobody's going to be doing any business until July 1st, assuming this lasts three months. And if they don't agree to an abatement, you can ask for a deferral, meaning that they'll give you some time where you, you, uh, where, where you don't have a few months, a month, two months, three months to be negotiated where you will not have to pay rent, but after that period expires, that rent will be due. Now, what you can do is you can ask that the deferred rent be amortized over the term of your lease. So let's say um, you have 60 months left on your lease, five years. Like, let's say you have five years, three months. You could ask them for three months right now and that you pay those three months over the remaining 60 months. So let's say your rent is $10,000 a month. You get three months deferred, that's $30,000, and you got uh, 60 months uh, um, left, well, you do the math, but you pay it over the um, long term. Now, landlords are pretty savvy, and they're going to understand that uh, smaller businesses, LLCs, sole practitioners, smaller companies, are not going to have particularly strong balance sheets, so they're going to very possibly agree to work with you. It doesn't hurt to ask because they don't want to see you go under because then they'll have to um, find a new tenant, which in this environment is not going to be um, easy. Um, now, I think they'll be more lenient with um, smaller companies. If you're an Adidas, HMN, uh, a public company, they'd probably be more resistant to making concessions at uh, this point. So I'd hang in there, but I keep the doors of communication open, maybe write them, have somebody, uh, your representative, contact them and uh, see what can be uh, worked out. I mean, we're living in unprecedented times. There's never been a hard stop in the economy like um, what has occurred in, in the last few weeks. So um, probably be a lot of litigation down the line. There'll probably be attorneys specializing in corona uh, litigation, which will have more work than they know what to uh, do with for uh, the next 10 years. So um, I wish you good health, success, and that the next few days aren't too stressful for you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you find this information um, useful and interesting. Until the next time, have a nice evening.